Hello, my name is Karen Gummo. I'm a storyteller and I like to draw and paint and I love to dwell in nature. Every spring when the last vestiges of snow are evaporating from the ground, I, I rush over to this very spot in the park and I, with anxious eyes, I scan the ground for I'm longing to dwell with the crocuses. I'm, I'm longing to look for that, those ears of the earth that listen to say that spring has arrived. And we all are longing for that. I published this book full of my drawings and, and paintings three years ago in 2017, but I think, or and I think, it pertains to our days self-isolation and, and introspection. I call it Ladybird Fly and I wanted to share it with you. Written and illustrated by Karen Gemmel. Once there was a prairie princess who loved ladybirds. She loved to find them, she loved to catch them, but she didn't want them to crawl on her too much. She was so completely captivated by the ladybird that when looking for a birthday gift in a neighborhood shop, she found a ladybird ring. What could be more desirable than that? With the last of her change, she bought the ring, and now she couldn't keep her eyes off it. She goes out into the world and home again, unable to think of anything else but the shiny ring. And not more than three days later, her family goes to their favorite hill, the hill that is shaped like a nose. Up the sandstone stepping stones, they march toward the top, and the prairie princess sings out to her ring, Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. But the little thing does not budge. Suddenly the ring seems to want to come off her finger, and she puts it in a very safe place, or at least she thinks it is. The family stops for a picnic after admiring nature's patchwork quilt, the quilt that covers the hill in autumn, of all the colors of the plant life and the trees turning golden and purple and some still green. And then the wind calls them to bring the kite out to play. She would have thought about the ring, but it was the call of the wind that drew her attention. And when she goes to get ready for bed that night, the ring is nowhere to be seen. She asks her mother to get it out of her pocket, and her mother was so busy admiring nature's patchwork quilt that she, she doesn't have it and didn't notice the ring falling into her deep wide pocket. This young thing, the prairie princess I call her, is so sad and so upset that she vows the very next day they'll go back to find the ring, but the next day the land is covered in snow that stays and stays through the winter and through the whole winter season, the family imagines that she'll forget about the ring, but does she? When the first signs of spring begin to appear, the birds returning from their winter holidays and, and the snow cover on Nose Hill starts to melt, she wants, to, she wants someone to go with her to the hill that is shaped like a nose, but there is no one. There's only warnings of danger on the journey. And so she goes by herself. What more is there to do? And she's so intent on finding that ring, she does not see the beauty of the fragile signs of last year's trampled grasses and, and seed pods and 
except she does notice the soft and furry exterior of a bud of a prairie crocus. And when she tickles it, the petals fall open and there is a ladybird. She declares that the ladybird could be her tour guide and take her to the ladybird ring. Well, she, it, it is a perilous adventure she goes on and she comes to a great stone and the earth yawns open and oh my, she's in great peril as she tumbles down to the bottom. And there, she is very frightened. But she hears a soft voice humming. And looking through long silky roots reaching down for springtime moisture, what does she find but an old woman who looks for all the world like her grandmother, who looks for all the world like she must be the queen of the ladybirds. Oh, she has the ring. The prairie princess knows it and asks that she might have it back. The old woman declares that she can give her something more than a shiny ring. What could that be? What could that be? Ears to hear the rhythm of the earth eyes to see the beauty all around and courage to set forth on a journey. The prairie princess is not certain. Can I touch these things, she asks. Ah, says the old woman. You can in your way, but remember, if you lose any of these gifts, come back to my hill and you'll find them again. child is enchanted and she's carried away on a dream from that cavern underneath the earth <gasps> and steps out from under the shadow of a great stone to the light of day and what does she find on the hillside but that it is covered in blue purple petals with a golden sun at their heart and securely wrapped in a robe of fur ah this wild hill felt like home. She would never forget that kind old woman and the wisdom imparted to her. She would go home with a good story to tell, and then very soon she would return. There's the story in a shortened format. I hope you like it. Thank you.